Hello, everyone. Welcome to Free Tip Friday. It is Friday, January 27th, and I'm Kate Richberg. And today is a flash sale. I also noticed that I'm not wearing any earrings. I mean, I am, but I'm wearing little tiny earrings. So while I'm chatting with you, let me put on some earrings, shall I? Um, we've got a lot to cover today on this free tip Friday. Thankfully, I've got some earrings sitting right over here. So let me grab them. Uh, they're my favorite pair. I wear them all the time. I wore them the other day. I'm going to wear them again today. It's my dragon dance. There we go. See, look, instantly dressed up, right? There we are. Um, so it's just you and me today. Uh, I think Gita's here, uh, doing some linking. Janice is off. She had an appointment this morning, so she is not on moderating today. Um, but that's okay because we're just doing, not just doing a flash sale, but we're doing a flash sale today, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. First, as you know, if, well, let me, Saturday, Friday, what, to, where, who are you? Fridays are a little more laid back. So let me start by saying welcome. And you can find all of our social media on all of these various feeds at beadshop.com at the bead table. And of course you can hit like subscribe and those notifications over on YouTube. Janice told me we're almost ready to hit a big milestone. We're only like 50 subscribers away from 83,000 um, uh, subscribers. So uh, make me happy. Go over there and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, because folks, as you know, whoops, let me get this off of there. As you know, I am going to Tucson. I start tomorrow. I'm driving uh, from the great central valley of California. So um, I'm going to be driving tomorrow to San Diego. And I'm picking up my bestie, my former Bidissimo partner, Christine. And Christine's going to be shopping with me along with Emily's going to be shopping with me on Tuesday and Wednesday. So you will meet Christine. We've got some great bead stories to share with you from our days at Bidissimo in San Francisco. She's a fantastic designer. Um, and so we're going to be up to all kinds of hijinks. So Emily and I are going to pop in. Uh, we're going to pop in from the different venues that we're seeing. I'm going to introduce you to some vendors. Friday night, we have a great bead extravaganza meetup with all the great bead extravaganza folks who are in town. So I might jump in live from there. So just stay tuned. A couple of um, ways to stay tuned is I'm going to try and schedule them a little bit early. So you'll see that scheduling um, on our different social media feeds. Um, but stay tuned to the newsletter for that. Also, Drea is going to put in in the newsletter to kind of take a look. If you miss the live broadcast, it's no big deal. It'll be on the replay on YouTube. Okay. But we hope that you all will be catching us live. Okay. So also next week on Wednesday and Friday, I've got two pre-recorded uh, shows for you at our regular times, 1030 AM Pacific time on Wednesday and Friday, Wednesday, uh, I'm going to be finishing that waterfall earring. So you're going to see that broadcast then. And on Friday, I have a special, uh, hot tip and technique. I'm sharing just a short little snippet. It'll be the alley splice from start to finish. So that will be also pre-recorded. So you folks will see that next week. Um, I also wanted to say a big, big thank you to those of you who grabbed 
the Desert Dreams box. We had that pre-sale. Um, we had a limited supply because I wanted to see how it goes. So uh, it sold out, <coughs> pardon me, it sold out fast. So thank you for, sorry, there we go. Thank you for your um, support in that, giving us a little extra Tucson cash. We appreciate that. Um, so I'm going to be shopping for the warm and the cool tones there. And if that goes well, you never know what other kind of boxes we're going to be putting out for pre-sale. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, you folks really stepped up and I thank you. Now I have a big task ahead of me making <laughs> quite a few boxes. Um, a big thank you to Gita being here from across the miles. Uh, Gita, I hope your first day at your new job went well. I thought about you. So great job. And thank you as always to being here for being here. Uh, something else that's coming down the pike that you folks are going to see is we are going to be launching the signups for our bead retreat. Those signups are going to happen in about two and a half weeks. Again, stay tuned to the newsletter. Janice and I and Emily kind of uh, hammered out the rest of the details. So uh, the dates for the retreat, if you want to mark your calendar, let me open my calendar so I give you the correct dates here. It's in the beautiful town of San Juan Batista, California at the St. Francis Retreat Center. It's a real oasis. The food is amazing. The company is amazing. The location is amazing. Um, the showers, eh, not so much, but whatever. Uh, everything else, amazing. Um, it's going to, our retreat starts on Friday, August 18th that afternoon. We retreat on Saturday the 19th, Sunday the 20th, and uh, half of Monday the 21st. And then uh, you go off back to wherever it is you bead normally. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. The theme this year is called Tricks of the Trade. And we're going to be doing some, Janice and I and Emily are all bringing our tricks of the trade to the table. We're going to talk about all kinds of cool stuff. You're going to have time to finish bead shop product projects. You're going to have time to start new projects. Um, it's going to be a real, um, I think it's going to be a really great time. We're really excited. Uh, last year we were a little bit low key right? We just kind of came together and beat it and stuff. This year, we've got some uh, focused uh, techniques and stuff to guide you, but you still will have a lot of time to work on your own projects and then to commune with Emily, Janice, and I. We each are bringing a presentation and everybody will have a chance to rotate through those presentations. And the dates, once again, are August 18, 19, 20, and 21 of 2003. So it's the third weekend of August of 2023. In the beautiful um, hills above San Juan Batista, California. So um, stay tuned to the newsletter because those uh, signups will uh, be going up. You'll have the opportunity. All rooms are private. There's no jostling for private rooms or shared rooms or anything. All rooms are private, so you don't have to share unless you want to. Um, and we're taking um, up to 18 participants. So we have slots for 18 of you to, to join us. So we'd love to see you there. Um, so that's all the news I have to share with you. We are really close. Oh, thank you, Christine, for doing that. I am going to show that. There we go. August 18, 19, 2021 at San Juan Batista, California. And the theme is Tricks of the Trade. And yes, Gita, you and I have to chat because we're going to make this happen. And then you're going to have to stay for a little bit of a California visit and maybe do a show with me here. I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, we'll talk about that. Um, so, um, I've got the beads here for the flash sale. So let me switch cameras. 
First, I want to talk a little bit about, um, let me get this one going. Oh, this, you're like, this isn't the flash sale. What are you doing? And I promise that the flash sale, I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Um, but I want to get all of this out of the way. So when I'm done, you'll have time to go over to the site and take a look around and stuff like that. But as you know, folks, uh, I'm going to Tucson and I don't know about you, but when you travel somewhere, do you bring a project? Uh, I try and bring a project, you know, I bring a book, right? I bring a, a project. Sometimes I bring a knitting project and usually I don't <laughs> tap into any of those, right? But it makes me feel kind of less anxious to have a project with me. I don't know if you do that. So I'm packing two projects for Tucson. I am not, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to loom or not in Tucson, but I want the, um, the uh, option to do so. Okay. So if you watched part one of Emily's amazing looming, that was just a magnum opus. It was just a, it was like a, it was, I learned so much about looming and it was so inspiring. So I pulled out my Ojibwe loom. You can tell I haven't even built it yet. Right. I've got it here. Here are the ends. I opened up the really beautiful directions that come with it right here. And um, I, there's a graph paper in it that I just scanned, photocopied with my printer. Okay, like this. And so I, I photocopied a few so I'd have them. And I use my pens that sweet Nancy Lorenz gave me at the retreat. I used my pens and I started to graph. And what I did as my uh, inspiration were the colors of the Tucson box that it was just a photographic uh, kind of beautiful photo of Tucson, not the warm or the cool, but it's the one that's the desert dreams box that we use to advertise the box. So I pulled my colors out of there. So that's kind of Tucson colors. I wrote 15 because remember Emily's main piece was 15 across. Then the sides were seven and seven. I just started to um, make a kind of a diamond pattern. Arizona's, one of Arizona's teams is the Diamondbacks, right? Diamond kind of has a Tucson feel to me. I'm going to the gem show, diamonds, etc. So I've just started this. We'll see where it ends up, but I wanted to show you this. Okay. So this is my traveling project. So we'll see what happens. Maybe nothing, maybe something, who knows, but I'm going to pack that with me. And we'll see. And you can see the colors. And if I, maybe I'll pop in and do a live about it or something. But I just palleted it with um, uh, desert colors. I've got some KO. That's what I'm going to use to warp my loom. I've got my size 12 beading needles. So I think I'm ready to go. We'll see what happens. Okay. So let me put this aside. And let's get to um, the... Uh, flash seal. Um, Lynn is asking also, will I tape my temperature project? So, oh, you saw my beejucation ruler. Did you see that? My beejucation ruler that was on our buddies at beejucation. I love this little ruler. I need to see if I can get bead shop rulers. I don't know. Does anyone know how to do this? I don't, but look at our buddies at beejucation. I love it. My little reminder of our friend, Lisa. Um, Will I take my temperature project? I'm not going to, because what I'm going to do, I'm actually caught up to yesterday and I don't have it here, but um, it's in my other room. Um, so I'm caught up. So I'm going to do the temperature while I'm gone. I'm still going to do in my rope, the temperature here at my home base here in Fresno. So I'll catch up the week I get back and I'll be able to add a new month. Um, and then I'll share it with you. 
Um, so no temperature project, what, uh, the temperature in Fresno, it'll stay here in Fresno. So I'm not going to bring it. Uh, let me tell you a little bit how the flash sale works. If it's your first flash sale here. Okay. What we've done and let me, uh, go over here to our website, beadshop.com, as you know, and I'm going to share my screen here. So bear with me here just a second so you can see it. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. I am going to share, uh, this window. Bear with me here. Just a second. Where is it? Oh, here we go. And this, there we are. Can you see that? Let me make sure you can. Yes. So right here, if you're looking at beadshop.com right now, you will see this flash sale Friday available 1, 27, 23 at noon Pacific time. So the flash sale isn't up yet, but the link is. So if you go to the website, go to the homepage and you click on that photo, what you're going to get, um, is let me click on it. See, it'll say this page will remain empty. There's a few things from past flash sales. There's a few that you might want to grab. Um, but here are, are the directions on it. Okay. So it'll go live at noon. So if you see this page at noon, hit refresh. Okay because you will, uh, it won't automatically load, right? It won't automatically load. So you want to, um, hit refresh for that. Okay. So, uh, and then uh, what I would do after I log off today, which is going to be in probably about 20 minutes or so, um, you can go over, Make sure that you have your account, you're logged in, you're ready to shop. If there's other things that you want to go into this cart when you're shopping, do it before the flash sale, folks, right? Because beads in your cart don't necessarily mean that they're yours until you complete the checkout process. Okay. So that's a little bit about how it goes. And then when we sell out folks, we're sold out. So, uh, I bought these with our African trader who came back through. Um, and, uh, I bought some really cool stuff. Prices are great. Uh, prices are all listed on the flash sale. When you jump over there to see them, um, you can use any discount codes or anything like that, that you want. If you have VIB, rewards points, make sure that you've got that reward number, you're ready to go, um, that you're using any kind of discount codes or anything like that, that you might have up your sleeve. Um, and that's that. Okay. So let me remove that screen. Let me put the beads here and let's talk about them. So you have an idea of what's shaken. Okay. Um, and this is a good, uh, tip from Christine. She is a, uh, a flash sale veteran. Build your cart first. If you want thread, if you want other stuff, put that stuff in your cart and then add the beads from the flash sale and check out fast. Okay. Because there are limited supplies. Um, and why I do these flash sales is it's stuff that I can't get a lot of, right? For the website, I have to buy a huge amount. So it doesn't, well, sometimes it sells out fast, but so we have it, right? Or we have things that I can reorder, right? These are things that they're limited. I can't get a whole bunch of, and I may or may not be able to get back in. So um, that's why we do these this way. So they're kind of fun. If you miss them, if you folks are watching this on replay and you're like, oh, Kate, Come on. I didn't get it. Well, don't worry. Um, you are going to, there's more flash sales always coming down the pike. Okay. Let me start with these, um, pendants. First of all, um, I love these pendants and I got four sizes. 
and these are brass pendants here. I'm going to zoom in a little tighter so you can see this. And let's get this preview on the road. There we go. These are all brass and they're, I think they're pretty fun. If you saw, if you're in the bead group, in our bead table group, you saw Michelle um, post, I think she posted a Kumahimo piece that she did with some of these that she got from a former flash sale. Um, these are all brass. Let me show you how they, the sizes. Okay. This is kind of a keyhole, a smaller one. This is a 24.7 millimeters. Aren't those pretty? I love them. This one's the fan. And this one is a little bit larger, 26.2. You can see the whole size is pretty big also on this, the side. That's probably about a two millimeter hole. I think should fit a two millimeter cord. Also this one as well, pretty big. Um, this is kind of a filigree. This one's kind of thick, which I like. It's almost two and a half millimeters by, and this has a big hole here. Um, 45 mil. And this is that double diamond kind of in the style of the Ethiopian cross kind of feel to it. It is almost 60 millimeters in length, whole size real big. Again, kind of a nice heavyweight pendant at two millimeters. These, I, I really like these pendants. And I'm going to show you, um, let me show you, I pull these out like every time I do this. But I want to give you some inspiration here for something like this, and then we'll move on to the beads. Um, Russell, Russell, let me zoom out here. Something like these beauties would be really cool. You remember this beaded braid I did with the, um, with the tassel, that's that tiara cast um, little component. But something like that, you could also use with these, right? Wouldn't that be beautiful? This is the wax linen, again, beaded braid. That would look great, right? You could do a small and a large. You'll be able to find that project if you look up beaded braid over on Bead Shop. That would be really fun. I also have, this was a kit, and I'm going to do another kit like this because you folks loved it so much. I have some of the beads for it. It's going to be another trade bead kit that I love. I love it. But this is a another fun one that's on the wax linen. Something like this you could always add a pendant to. And in the flash sale, you could grab some a variety of beads and kind of string them on the wax linen. Let me show you a little bit closer. See how I did that with just the wax linen and I knotted it up. Uh, so that would be really great with that. Okay, so these are fun, not too heavy, not too expensive. Um, and it's a great way to add kind of a, an interesting look, I think, to your pieces. So let's take a look at um, these beauties here. These, you know, we sell these on bead shop in smaller amounts. They're called Tides Out. Um, and these are the, the blue, and this is kind of a charcoal. We're selling them by the strand in this sale. And the strand is long. And I, I love these. If you're doing anything that needs, like if you were using the Ashanti saucers, which I don't have any in this flash sale, but these are made with recycled glass. Let me get a little tighter in there. And the colors, I think, are really gorgeous. Leslie's asking about, do the brass pendants discolor? Well, they're untreated metal, Leslie, so they will, I mean, maybe, right? It just depends. But you could also intentionally patina them. And since they're not plated, they polish really well. But I have, like, this piece that's also the untreated brass. 
Um, and you can see it's held its color just fine. The color doesn't flake off because it's a solid metal. So you could polish it with like a pro polish pad if you wanted to bring the sheen up. And Aura, all the prices are on when you click over when the sale goes live, all the prices will go live, but they're really affordable. Um, they're a great price for you for the flat sale. I'm sorry I don't have that information here, but it'll all be on uh, the flash sale. So this one here, let me zoom out a little bit. So this, the actual bead length, it's about 22 inches of beads. And can you see here, they range from about three and a half millimeters thick. They're about 11 and a half to 12 millimeters wide. And see that whole size is really big. The, these are just gorgeous. I love them. So these are the Tides Out recycled glass beads and we have them in that charcoal and in that blue. Now I have some vintage pieces here. These are the large Padres. I've had this color before. I didn't have very many, but I found some red to add to it. I also found some black. And these are old. The beads show a little bit as I call as I call it the patina of the ages with this. The Padres, this color, this periwinkle is just um I just love this color. It reads a little gray on the screen, but I I love them. So the width on these uh, 6.4, let's take this one, 5.6, and they're all going to vary a little bit, 5.5, right? Um, lengthwise, that's four and a half millimeter, just a random one here, about four. And this red one here, about also about four and a half. Um, also about 22 inches, I think, uh, here, 24. They're a little bit longer. And they're glass, old, beautiful. I love them. I also have the Padre in a mixed color as well which I love. And it has some green and see how those green are kind of round. There's some round ones here. This is just a mix and they just kind of scoop them up, string them. Sometimes you've got an odd shape or color here. So they mix really beautifully. And Emily likes using these saturated opaques. So this kind of color palette, if I mix it up like this, um, I think just screams Emily, but look at, you could string that up, um, put one of the pendants on it. I think it would look lovely. So it's, it's cool. Um, so that's these guys continuing on with the Padres. Um, when we carried a lot of Padres on bean shop and we don't as much anymore, this was a favorite that blue, these are the regular size. And I found a bunch of these. So I bought them by the strand. It's that kind of what we call the dirty blue, that light blue that kind of has that, that kind of brown patina with it. Also glass. Um, let's take a look at the length. This is about the size of a size six seed bead ish. Again, about 22 inches. Um, but the bead, the bead sizes are pretty irregular and that's just how these are. Um, side to side about four and a half millimeter, hole to hole, maybe two and a half. That one's a little bit bigger. That's like three. Okay. And the whole size again is about the same size as a six aught. Yeah. And Christine, I agree. This blue is one of my favorite. It does work up beautifully. And if you're using it in a piece like, I'll bring this one back to the four. Um, 
you know, you can knot it in a piece like this, um, mix it with some other beads. I think the color palette of that one, this periwinkle, and this blue, look at how pretty that looks just all together. Um, we also have another Padre, a popcorn Padre. Um, these are new. Uh, they're modern. Remember when we had these black and white and cream ones? Well, I found some. Limited. So I couldn't put them back up as a product. But I put them up here in the flash sale. This is a long strand. White, matte black, shiny black, and cream. This is about 44 inches in length. Also fairly irregular, also about the same size as these smaller Padres here. And you could mix these beauties with that color palette. Look at that, really pretty. And we don't have one strand of each color. This is a really good question, Ara. I have a bunch. I have around maybe 20 to 30. Some I have a little bit more, but it's not just a single strand. I would never do that to you. Okay, so uh, no. But they go pretty quickly because people shop it fast, but there's not a single strand. Okay, thank you for asking that question, though. It's great uh, for clarification. I appreciate that. I'm going to leave these two palettes together kind of on the side. Um, and let me show you uh, next. Let's, oh, I just have one that's not glass. This is the a bone. This is the batik bone where they um, do the resist on it. And then they um, uh, dye it. Uh, some are smoked to get that color, um, but it's this black and white bone. And the bone is a natural byproduct that they use. Um, it's usually water buffalo that it is. And they don't kill the water buffalo for their bone. The beads are um, a byproduct that gets used. So, But if you're a vegan or if you have issues using beads with bone, bone beads, these are not for you. But if you love them, um, these are from, I think these are Kenyan, I think, actually. Um, they're a really great, a beautiful bead. Um, and it is also about, uh, about 20 inches here. And they look great. Let me put the, the tape measure around my neck. Look at how I'm building that pro that uh, palette here with the with the darks. I think it just looks gorgeous. So let me add this to that palette and put this aside. Uh, let's look at uh, some sand cast. I only have, I guess I only have one sand cast here. And we've got a few of these left from the last flash sale in white. Um, I love them. I kept a strand uh, from my personal collection in white. I loved them. These are sand cast tubes and they're red. They kind of vary in size. Some are matte, some are shiny. Some have a little bit of white to them. They're a big bead. Um, and I know sometimes you can be a little challenged, design challenge with such a large tube like that. But something like this, if you're stringing, that's about 17 millimeter by about 10, almost 11 millimeter. If I were stringing with this, what I might do is use these beads as, what do I want to say? Not really spacers, but I would bring my strands together under these red beads and then have multiple strands going into that red. Okay? So multiple strand, single bead. Multiple strand, single bead. Does that make sense? They go with this palette just beautifully. I may have to make a, a Emily chatting about her, you know, black and white um, looming project she's going to do. And at my talk, yeah, different d dividers in between those. Exactly. Thank you for that word. Um, 
I, at my fiber guild this past weekend, we had a quilt artist who came and talked about her art and she talked about how she uses black and white as her neutral. And it was really an interesting and inspiring talk. So it was great. So I would add that to this pile. Red sand cast tubes, beautiful. So let's grab another. Now let's get into what we call on the website, we call these currents. They are also a, uh, um, recycled glass. These are smaller. They're a smaller bead, which I love. We call them currants because they're kind of like um, beach glass that have been kind of uh, softened by the currents, by uh, ocean waves or currents, right? So this is a nice matte red. Again, about 20 inches. Small, though. These aren't huge. Eight millimeter, a small one, smaller than we usually get by about nine millimeter. The whole size is huge, like almost five millimeters. Okay, so I'm going to put that, I'm going to add that to my red palette. Look at how this is shaping up. So pretty. More sand cast. Let me get those that kind of go with that palette. Okay, and all of the prices, thank you for asking, all of the prices will go live when, let me show you this, when the trunk show goes live at noon Pacific time on beadshop.com, you click that flash sale Friday um, banner that's on the website, it'll take you straight to the flash sale and you can shop. You'll see all the prices. You'll see everything, all the selection there. And um, you can use your um, your VIB points on there. Um, you can use, uh, you know, if you have a, a, a coupon code there. Um, let me see. See there, right there. Can you see that? 15% off orders of $50 or more. Chill 15. You can use that chill 15 coupon code on this. Okay. So, uh, it'll all go live then. So let me scroll back down so you can see that I'm getting so fancy with the screen sharing business, right? Let me put that there. Okay. This one is the seal gray, the gray currents a little bit larger. We've had these in stock before. Haven't been able to find this color. It's a little bit of a warm gray, right? Not a cool gray. It has a little bit of warmth to it. Big hole, matte, 15 to 16 millimeter, about 10 millimeter here. Um, again, I'd add it to this color palette. I'm working up quite a necklace here or a collection, right? If you sell your work or show your work or whatever, this is how I start when I am doing a strung up collection. I will gather my beads in a color palette and then I'll start working from that palette. Obviously, this is way too many beads for one necklace, right? Um, yeah, <laughs> Thanks, Christine. Sorry, Christine. I don't mean to. <laughs> I'm killing you, Smalls. I'm killing you. Um, it is a good uh, stash builder for sure. But this is a real, I think, collection builder as well. Um, so this one. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to go to uh, the next group of currents that I have because they're all going to kind of go in the other color palette. I've got these small in the um, olive. Again, same size as the red in the other grouping. A little bit bigger, maybe nine and a half millimeter. By about nine, they would go beautifully with these and even this multicolor here, right? Then we kind of graduate up in size with the currents. Two color. This is kind of a new thing that the bead makers are doing over in Ghana. These are all made in Ghana. 
um, they're doing these two colored and sometimes three colored. These are a little bit larger, 11 by about 12, 12 and a half millimeter. <laughs> Sorry, Kita. <laughs> so this is beautiful, right? I just love them. They go great with that palette. I've got this, what I like to call that Coca-Cola glass, right? Kind of that green, that blue glass. They also have a little bit of a silvery kind of feel to them. Again, about the same size as that green. So what did I say? About 11, 10 to 11 millimeter by about 11 and a half to 12 millimeter or so. Big hole. Yeah, nice icy blue color. Exactly. That goes in that palette. Um, I have, I've got two more things. This blue, blue, blue. Again, that same kind of size like this gray. A little bit bigger, about 13 millimeter or so to about 13 and a half to 14 millimeter. So it goes, let me lay these beauties out. So those, the glass, beautiful with that tides out glass. This is a little shiny. That's a little bit uh, matte. These Padres go beautifully, right? Look at that pile. Now you could add a little bit of color. See how this goes beautifully. I have one last strand and I'm going to put these two palettes out because I want to show you something. Here's that red palette. Here's that blue palette. The last bead I have to show you is the yellow. Remember how Emily was saying the, the, her vintage seed bead that she had was that greasy yellow. It's that, it's that the finish on the bead kind of looks like it might have Vaseline on it a little bit. The bead has a little bit of glow. That's what these impart, right? It's kind of mustardy. It's kind of, it almost has like a green cast to it. It's gorgeous. Again, large, 13 by like 14 and a half. Let me show you. I could add it to this red. Look at what an interesting color choice. See how I did it? I love that color. I did this kit like that with this, with the yellows, right? And look at how it also works with these over here, right? So talking about a neutral, when I do my color class, and it's something we're going to talk about at the retreat, how you can really use any color as your neutral. See how the yellow looks in this one? And the yellow looks in this one. It pops. Exactly. Trish, it pops and it's interesting in both colorways. So on those days, folks, when you are like, yeah, I don't know what I'm making, right? I don't know what I'm going to do. Palette with your beads, right? Palette with them and see what you come up with. Okay. So there it is. Yeah, you guys could tell I'm super, I'm super passionate. <laughs> you folks know when I start talking faster, I'm super passionate passionate. Yeah, I'm definitely training for Tucson, right? And that's how I buy the beads when I'm buying beads for all of you all uh, in Tucson and how I'm going to pallet your Tucson boxes. I'm going to do it just like this, right? I lay it out. I ask the vendor, the poor vendors, right? What they do is they, I ask them for a tray and I'm like, I need some trays, right? And I'm in the booth and I start grabbing beads and I pallet just like, uh, just like this, right? Just like this. Um, let me move this over here or, uh, why won't this move over? Oh, I know why. There we go. Uh, just like this here, right? Uh, I lay it all out. And then I start making my choices like this. Uh, good question. Are those brass pieces light enough for earrings? I think if you don't put much else with this, Trish, this would work. 
And I think definitely this one will work for an earring. These guys, not so much here, but this could. Oh, thanks. I just got a haircut. Thank you. Ready for Tucson. Okay. And so uh, we do ship to South Africa. I'm not sure. Uh, put your info in. I think we do ship there. Um, but double check uh, when you build your cart um, or you can reach out to info at beadshop.com and we can double check for you. Uh, shipping isn't my, isn't my uh, forte there. So folks, remember, if you jump over to beadshop.com, you'll see this page now, Flash Sale Friday. It's going to um, refresh at noon so that the page will load. You click on that page. Let me do it now. And it's going to bring you to the Flash Sale Friday page. Okay. And everything will load at noon. All right. So if you're on this page, if you see this graphic there, if you see this, refresh and then the beads will load. Okay. Let me go back to the home page there. Let me go back to my broadcast here. Um, Michelle has a question. Do I think I'd do another similar kit to the Jade Dreams with those wonderful faceted mother of pearl beads? That was a good one, wasn't it? I don't know. I'll see what I find. I'm hoping that uh, the world will literally be my oyster in Tucson. We'll see what I find. I have no idea. So time zones. Thank you, Vaughn, for asking. Right now in Fresno, which is Pacific, it is 1122 Pacific. It goes live in uh, at noon. So it's like 38 minutes from now, Pacific time. So wherever you are, noon Pacific, three Eastern and then all of those zones in between. Okay. So hopefully uh, that'll work out. Oh, and Gita is saying over on her side of the world. Yes. 9 PM. Thank you, Gita. I know it's your, your uh, first day at work. So thank you for joining us. So folks, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me for this preview. Um, I'm going to sign off a little bit early. Uh, stay tuned to your newsletters for uh, to stay abreast of all of my Tucson adventures. So you can jump over right to beadshop.com, sign up for that newsletter for all of that info. And don't forget to follow us on all of our social. I'll be posting um, and sharing and go hit that like, subscribe and notification right on our YouTube channel. I want to reach that 100,000 this year, folks, and you are going to help me do it. So thank you again for joining me for today's show, this Flash Sale Friday, this limited edition for these beautiful um, one-of-a-kind uh, beads. I hope you enjoy uh, this as much as I enjoyed bringing them to you. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you folks next time. My boots will be on the ground in Tucson. Thanks, everybody. We really appreciate your support. We wouldn't be here without you. Talk to you soon.